Chief Tommy Baldwin say the engine blew up and he backed it in. Oh yeah. Well, oh, the page didn't get it too bad, but Spencer, boy, what a hit! Yeah, he just. Ouch. And folks, that's in slow motion. And Biffle goes sliding through, barely missing the seven car. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. That oil blew it some. The engine gets on the racetrack on the asphalt surface, and these tires hit it, and it just absolutely like hitting ice. If you've ever driven your car and hit a patch of ice, you know what Spencer felt like. You see Jimmy out of the car there, just uh, kind of hidden behind the corner of the ambulance. Yeah. And walking away, taking off his uh, head and neck restraint. Hey, you got a car in the wall. Ooh, Steve Park. Steve Park. Head on in the wall. Man, that's a big time wreck. Caution's out. It's not going to run too good, Steve. Yeah, here comes the window net down. And that's just fuel in the exhaust system. The exhaust system is 900 degrees, 1,000 degrees, and the fuel that is falling down in that steel exhaust system has to burn off some way. Car just broke loose on him. He and Todd Bodine might have made contact just before they got into the corner. Let's Looking see. ahead from Robbie Gordon. Flags out. They were all racing for 10th place. And Harvey has got to go to the garage here. He may get back on the racetrack, but it'll be a good while before he gets back out. A lot of water coming out in front of that car. It's like they get, it's like Rusty gets into the back of the 20 car. Of, uh, and then 22 car. Scott Wimmer. Scott Wimmer gets in the back of Rusty, and then Kevin Harvick's got no place to go. Bobby Labonte has no place to go. Wrong place, wrong time. Another shot. It's a chain reaction. The accordion factor. Yeah. And our championship leader, Matt Kenseth's view, going through the accident. You can't see too much down in the sun, but he does see all those cars go to the outside. And Mike Hallow out the spot. So pretty. This is with Kevin Martin. Stop, 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 stop. Danny, you can't you stop, stop that quick with you. Those cars don't have the brakes to stop that quick. Danny Cole, the spotter on the car. So Harvick has taken his car off the racetrack into the garage area for repairs. Rusty Wallace on and off pit road. I don't think Wimmer, the 22 car, was involved to a great deal, but Rusty, Bobby Levine, Tony Stewart, and Kevin Harrick, they had serious damage. Uh, the 2 and the 20 were racing pretty hard there, and you know, the 2 was uh, pinching the 20 car down pretty pretty hard on the inside there. And uh, finally the 20 got by and looked like he got into him and turned him. And I, I kind of went in there and kind of slid up the racetrack because I thought I was trying to get back by the 22 car because I kind of held on trying to wait for the 20 to get by the 2 car because the 2 car was backing up, but he wasn't going to give up the position. So anyway, I went on the outside thinking that might be the thing to do, but in the meantime, the two was turning the 20 around, and uh, by that time, I didn't have enough momentum to hit his two car hard, hard enough. A season of one minute wins for Junior, second in the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship coming in, if not for 36th and 32nd place finishes to open 2003 in the Daytona 500 and the Rockingham race in February. Might he be closer to Matt Kenseth for this championship? One victory so far this season, Talladega back in April. He's looking to pick up his first win here at Phoenix in less than a mile. His fourth Phoenix try will result in his first victory. And his second win of 2003, Dale Earnhardt Jr. winning in the Valley of the Sun.